In today's video, I will be showing you how to remove any hijacking, pop-ups, or maybe spam that you keep encountering on Microsoft Edge. The first thing you need to do is open up Edge. Although it may be difficult to open up Edge if it has been hijacked, you should hopefully still be able to get the browser to open. Once you have opened it, you now need to click on the three dots in the top right hand corner and you then need to click on extensions. And before we go any further, don't forget to subscribe and also like this video if it did help you out and you also enjoyed it. So once you are on extensions, you now need to go through the extensions and just remove any dodgy looking extensions. Once you have done that, the next thing we want to do is click on the three dots again and this time you need to click on history. You now need to click on the three dots and you then need to click on clear browse and data. You now need to change the time range from last hour to all time and you now need to make sure you have everything selected. Just be warned this will clear all data within Edge. You can always keep passwords deselected but personally I would recommend you just select everything, passwords, cached images, just absolutely everything and then go ahead and press clear. Just make sure you do know your login details once you have restored Edge back to its normal state again so you can log back into all your websites. I'm now going to go ahead and press clear. And there we go, that's now cleared all data for Edge. Now you have removed all the extensions that you don't recognize and look dodgy and also we've cleared our browsing data the next thing you need to do is click on reset settings on the left hand side. You now need to go ahead and click on reset settings to their default values and we then need to go ahead and press reset. But before you do that just be warned that this will reset the startup page, the new tab page and also search engine and pinned tabs. It will also disable all the extensions and also clear our temporary data such as cookies. But this shouldn't be a problem because if you're having issues with Edge being hijacked or getting a lot of spam and basically malware issues then we can then go ahead and just press reset. Once the settings have been reset go ahead and close down Edge and you then need to click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Make sure you do use a different web browser when downloading Malwarebytes. If you don't have another web browser, then you could always try and download it through Edge or from another PC if you do have access to one. You now need to go ahead and press free download if you are using this for yourself. You then need to go save file and we then need to run the setup file you then need to select personal computer if you are using a personal computer and then go ahead and press advanced options and just make sure you are happy with the location Malwarebytes is going to install and then go ahead and press install. You can then go ahead and skip this option if you don't want to install the Malwarebytes browser guard. Once the install has finished you then need to go ahead and press get started and you then need to press maybe later and we then need to go ahead and press get started. So this is what Malwarebytes looks like and as you can see it has given us a 14 days free trial. We now need to go ahead and press scanner and you then need to go ahead and press advanced scanners and you now need to click on configure scan and you now need to make sure you have everything selected on the left hand side here and we also want to select all your drives because malware can basically get anywhere on your system. You also want to keep these two options as they are and we then need to go ahead and press scan. This will now scan our machine for any malware and when it does detect it, it will then try and remove it. And with a bit of luck, it will detect the malware that is on your system. If it didn't manage to find any, then go ahead and restart into safe mode and then try running Malwarebytes in safe mode. And with a bit of luck, it will then detect the malware in safe mode. And that is how 
you fix issues with Edge getting hijacked or getting any malware or spam or anything like that. I hope this tutorial did help. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.